on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Carolina Panthers and the Chicago Bears. And it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 25. They say summer is the time to live in Chicago. Well, that's extended into autumn as we are ready to roll under blue skies at Soldier Field. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success the best? That team will win the game. Set for football now on a sunny afternoon in the second city. And off we go from Soldier Field. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. They'll be let out by the Red Rifle. From TCU, it's Andy Dalton. If your team is in a pinch, there aren't many quarterbacks who can bail you out like the Red Rifle. You know, he brings a ton of experience to any quarterback room. But the perfect mentor who can help a young quarterback as he goes through the maturation process. But often when he gets his number called and he gets on the field, his team feels very comfortable with him under center. First carry for the Oklahoma State man, Chuba Hubbard. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. Got his man, it's Jonathan Mingo. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Nine yards that time. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. Fancy footwork at the 45. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 48-yard line. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Well, that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice, substantial hit to jar that catch loose from him. Incomplete pass. Now a second and ten. So Dalton now. He'll find the former Steeler, Deontay Johnson. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. 
Passing. It's Dalton. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 31-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. And again, Andy Dalton to throw. A short throw hauled in by Trimble. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down to about the 21 or 22. And they keep those sticks moving forward that time with a gain of three. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Hubbard will take this one in. Touchdown, Carolina. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7-0 lead. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it was Chuba Hubbard who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And the kick team down there quickly. They don't have to run as far as they used to. And they're able to stop him before he can even make it to the 15. So the Bears ready to go on offense. And it's the number one overall pick leading him out. The Heisman Trophy winner from USC, Caleb Williams. And we're talking about a young man who proved it at every step along the way. First at Oklahoma, then at USC. Big-time talent, big-time production, and won a Heisman Trophy while playing for the Trojans. Now, the number one overall pick lands in Chicago, and there's an awful lot of talent awaiting him, and now he gets a chance to utilize those weapons. They'll get this complete to the rookie from Washington. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, 
Their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find the hole. Despite the strong run, he'll be hit and dropped shy of the 45. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Here is third down and four. To throw, it's Williams. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. The 20. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. CD, what a sensational start for this defense. Instead of just forcing the three and out, which they were about to do, they pick it off and take it in for the score. Yeah, I mean, they didn't just settle for the standard good way to start a game. They started in dramatic fashion. Take it away, score points, and guess what? They'll be flying to go back out there on defense again after that play. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now a second and two. Off the bootleg, it's Williams. Throw right side, taken in by Adunze. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. We all speculated that this offense was going to be a lot more high-powered, and Adunze's drafting definitely puts it in that category. Explosive speed, refined routes, and last year he led college football in contested catches with 21. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession. As they've got it with a first and 10. Looking to throw is Williams. He'll get this into the hands of the Dunze. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. He'll get this to the longtime charger. It's Keenan Allen. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. And the throw and the catch were just fine, but against zone coverage when you run a drag route, what you're hoping for is he makes the catch and makes someone miss, and they don't there. 
Very difficult route to run when everyone has their eyes back towards the quarterback and they're able to see the route develop. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And a change of scenery in 2023 worked out well for Swift as he racked up a new career high in rushing yards during his lone season as an Eagle. And now he's made the move to Chicago and is expecting to power their running game. First down, and they go with Swift again. Stops short of the 25, but that second effort got him a couple extra. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Now second and five. On play action, here's Williams. He finds his target, Allen. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Swift going to try up the middle. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Facing a second and three. Ball on the 10. Once again, it's Swift. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. DeAndre Swift. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Bears have got it back to within a score. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of a season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Santos with the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. A 10 play drive that time, and it was finished off with a 10 yard touchdown scamper. This game back with it a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And able to get this out to the 25. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Dalton. Open man left side. It's the tight end Trimble. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score.
So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. They are pushed back five yards by the delay of game, second and eight. They'll toss this right side to Hubbard. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Panther first down. Successful toss play to the right there. It's interesting, teams seem to run the toss a lot more to the right than to the left. It's usually a little more natural. Right-handed quarterback, typically your power side running the ball is to the right side with your guard and your tackle. In college football, they used to call it student body right because you had everyone on that side, including a fullback leading. In the pros, they don't call it that, but it's still the same result. Short throw hauled in by Trimble. The result only four yards there on the play, and that'll make it second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second down and six now. Andy Dalton. And a catch made by Johnson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Dalton here from the gun. And his throw's going to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Here's second and ten. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Another chance for Dalton. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They'll give this to Hubbard running right, and he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. DeAndre Carter back deep. This is taken at the 15. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return, and the Bears take over. Now the Bears going to take over now late in this first half. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. Here's Williams. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Second and ten. To the air, Williams. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. A yard all they need, but it's third down. 
to throw. Williams able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And from the 41, this is second and a yard. To the air once more, Williams. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Just nowhere to go with the football. He was forced to put that one into Lake Michigan. I think his receivers have to do a better job of working free because he didn't have anywhere to go at all on that play. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Throwing is Williams. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we come upon halftime intermission here with the visiting Panthers taking the lead to the locker room. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. It was the running back, Chuba Hubbard, who put together a solid first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was gonna be a battle, but we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side could play mistake-free football the rest of the way. A one touchdown ball game, 14 7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. And the Bears' offense set to go to begin the third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. Well, there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected, but sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to, so sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and six. From the gun, here's Swift. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. 
Williams from the gun on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid game to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. From the 44-yard line, here's second and three. Off the play fake, it's Williams. And again, back to Komet. And yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And we've got movement. I think this is against the Bears here. Let's find out. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. This is Swift on the counter. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Jadavian Clowney there on the stop. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really... They've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. They'll give him four yards there. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Now, right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he'll go right back to Allen. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 17-yard line. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. What a drive this has been, just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. To throw, it's Williams. And his throw here is incomplete. That one was tipped up in the air and fortunately fell away for the defense because if the offense is able to grab that one, that's a short little jaunt into the end zone because there's not enough reaction time off of a tip ball for the defense to rally and make a tackle. They were very fortunate on that play. Working out of the gun, Williams. Got his man and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Keenan Allen. 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. 
big time arm right there and let's face it a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball the fastball was usually their best pitch and we saw it there Santos able to tack on the extra point and we are tied at 14. So all square here in this third quarter as the kicks away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. He's got a man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. When you get into the second half of a tie ball game, you start realizing that every play takes on a bigger significance. And this is pretty significant right here. This is where you start putting the pressure on that secondary. And that's a job well done there. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 41. Throwing Dalton. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Straight ahead with Hubbard. Breaks a tackle. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Panther first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. All square, 14 apiece to score as we get ready for the fourth quarter. So Dalton now. That one complete till again. No gain on the play. And it's second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. In motion right is Mingo. Passing. It's Dalton. Open man is Mingo. Complete. And he doesn't quite make it. Taking it with it. An eyelash. Dropped at the one. A good pick up there. 21 yards. Not quite enough to get into the end zone, but what a nice play there. He makes the catch. Tries to turn up field and get to the pylon, but doesn't quite get there. But they're going to be set up with a first and goal from very short range. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. That's complete out right to the tight end, Tremble. So no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. 
Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Hubbard diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. And this is the time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with the touchdown run to take the lead. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was Chuba Hubbard who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. Up past the 30, second down coming up. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? Eva, make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Shaq Thompson making his presence felt on the sack. Well, someone is certainly having a big game, and while that sack doesn't quite have the splash of his pick six from earlier, you know he's thrilled to be making big plays during a great individual effort today. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Looking to throw is Williams. Throw right side taken in by Adunze. And they'll get this across the midfield stripe, but still winding up short of the first down. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Now 
And Dalton and the Panthers now with a first and 10 at their own 15. They'll begin this series with a give to Hubbard. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. You know, I was going to ask you if maybe they should surprise and pass the ball, but where they're at on the field, I think keep it on the ground, right? I like where you're going with this one because field position is going to determine these play calls. And backed up where they are, I don't even think about putting the ball in the air. I tell my running backs, grasp the football, and I tell my offensive line, don't allow any leaks so they get hit immediately when we hand it off. And Dalton to throw. That's over the middle and caught by Mingo. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. A give up the middle, Hubbard. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Here's a second and five. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. And they'll go again here with Hubbard. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. From the 47, it's second and five. On the counter, this is Hubbard. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. That is caught, and he will have a Panther first down, and it is celebration time on that sideline, and they've earned it. And this defense, they needed that one more stop to have any chance, but that completion, that's likely going to seal their fate. And you could hear it in your voice, that one more stop. <laughs> I feel their pain. Oh, it was so important. They just didn't get it done. Wow, what a way to finish this one off. Dalton down to a knee, and that'll be all she wrote. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through and they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com.
With that, we say so long from Soldier Field.